what to do for God to give you a kingdom wealth above all else. The labor of the foolish wearies them because they don't know how. Many are suffering today because they are ignorant. My people, God says, are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. When you know and you put to work or put to use what you know, listen, your case will always be different. God's number one wish above all else is that you prosper and be held, even as you so prosper. God wants you to have wealth. In Proverbs 13 and verse 22, the Bible says, A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is kept in store for the righteous. If a man who is good can leave an inheritance to his children's children, what about God? If you compare men with God, listen, you will see that every man is wicked. Jesus said, if men who are wicked can give good gifts to their children, what about your father who is in heaven? God wants to amaze you with divine supplies, but there's what to do. Join me and let's look at Luke chapter 12. I will read it from verse 22 quickly. And he said unto them, the disciples, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. Look at it. Take no thought for your life what you shall eat. Neither for your body what you shall put on or wear. The life is more important than the food. And the body is more important than the clothing. Consider the ravens. For they neither sow nor reap. They don't invest. They don't make profit. They don't gather. There's not only an investment. They don't sow nor reap. Which neither have storehouse nor bank. There's no bank account. Nowhere. There's no store to keep their thing. There's no treasury. Yet God feeds them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you with taking thought can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toy not. They spin not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what you shall eat or what you shall drink, neither be ye of a doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knows that you have need of these things. But rather, seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Don't go about looking for food or how to save seek ye first the kingdom of god invest to advance the kingdom of god give to promote the kingdom of god give to advance kingdom business invest your time resources energy everything towards and into the kingdom advancement seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Food, drink, houses, car, all these things, all things that pertains to life and godliness, all these things shall be added unto you. Now, 32, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, the wealth, the glory, the power. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 8, Satan told Jesus, Fall down and worship me, bow down and worship me. And I will give you all this kingdom. For you see all this kingdom, the wealth, the glory, everything in it, it has been given to me, and I give it to anyone I like. Luke 4, 5 and 6, it was repeated there. The devil said to Christ, look at this kingdom. He showed him all the 
kingdoms of this world in a moment of time and told him, well, you see this kingdom, the power, the glory, the riches, the wealth, everything I see on earth is mine. I control all. If you will fall down, worship me, I will give you all. Jesus said, the father wants to give you back that kingdom, the power, the glory, the riches, the wealth. But it's what you must do. It is the will of God for you to be empowered with kingdom wealth. God wants to place kingdom wealth in your command, under your control. God wants to make you his treasurer, his steward. But it's what you must do. What is it? He said, do not be afraid. Rather seek ye the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. I believe they asked, how do we seek this kingdom? What do you expect us to do? You know how few we are. You know what we have? Jesus said, what to do is this. Fear not, little flock. That's my church. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom and all the wealth. What must you do? Go and sell that that you have. Go and sell your possession. Go and sell maybe your stocks, your shares, your debentures. Go and sell your estates. Go and sell your houses. Go and sell your whatever you can say. Go and sell it. Go and sell your possession. And then put that money into my kingdom. Seek first my kingdom. Promote my kingdom. Advance my kingdom. Go and sell all you have and make investments into my kingdom. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that fail it not, where no thief can approach and where neither moth corrupts. For where your treasure is, whether in my kingdom or here on earth, that is where your heart is. If you don't want to die of a heart attack because of the colossal losses that many will experience shortly, listen, invest into the kingdom. I had an uncle who told me of a man who invested about 39 million in the year 2004. Some banks sold their shares and the man bought shares worth 39 million. The shares were sold at 39 naira, and he bought 3 million shares at 39. As at the time he was telling me this story, in 2013, the shares had crashed to 50 naira per share. So the man had only 1.5 million. He lost at 7.5 million. And the man had a heart attack and died. You know why? Where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. He invested in a bank and then investments crashed a share was sold for three naira and he bought three million shares no the, sh the shares the shares were sold at 13 naira sorry 13 naira and he bought he bought three million shares so it came to 39 million now the shares crashed to 50 kobo nigerian money and because of that he had only 1.5 million worth of shares he lost 37.5 <laughs> The man died of heart attack. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. My uncle told me, sorry, also invested the same amount. He told me, it's only God that's keeping him because his, need, his heart is not in those things. He invests in the kingdom, invests in such things. He also lost, lost like that man. Where your heart is, that is where your treasure is. Your treasure determines where your heart is. If you invest here, your heart is here. If you invest in the kingdom of heaven, your heart is in that kingdom. And I tell you, from that kingdom, God will supply you all you are looking for. Everything you give is put into your kingdom. Matthew 13, from verse 44 to verse 46. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who was looking for treasure. He found one treasure in a field for joy. He hid it, went and sold all he had went and sold all he had and bought that field because of the treasure in that field. He knew if I sell all I have and I buy this field, I will sell it and get all I've sold in multiple returns. He was a wise investor. 
Christ said again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant, like all these big billionaires, Musk, Tedola, Dangote, um, Bezos, Warren Buffett, all these big time billionaires, BlackRock owner, all these people, um, State Street, Vanguard, all these billionaires. They went and sold, or they said the kingdom of God is like a merchant, a great multi-billionaire who is seeking goodly pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all his shares, all his stock, all his possession, and bought it. Listen, Christ is showing us the investment that will give you the highest return is the one you make into the kingdom. Investment into the kingdom will give you the highest return. And only wise men and wise women understand this and invest in this. You can never lose anything you invest in the kingdom. So you are wise when you can invest into the kingdom. You are not wise if you are investing elsewhere. Because wherever your treasure is, that's where your heart is. If you invest here on it, hear me and hear me well. Everything you, are, you have here on earth one day will perish. One day. There's nothing here on earth that is permanent. Everything you invest here will lose value over time. Only what you put in the kingdom will never lose value. I pray for you. Listen, that you invest uh, some money and you get some more money. It does not mean your money has appreciated. Money keeps losing value. Even though you may make profit, money loses value. Above all, whatever is here on earth will be destroyed one day. Whether like it or not. Look at what's happening in Ukraine. Look at what's happening in Hamas. The investments that people made, billions of dollars invested there, have all gone down the drain. Nothing here on earth lasts. Companies are crashing. People are suffering and dying. If you want to be safe, no heart attack, no high blood pressure, no premature death, invest in the kingdom and above all god will give you not just your life but your harvest in every area of life will be guaranteed please invest you want to see the quickest turn around that will put you far above all else right now here on earth please massively invest into the kingdom as you do so the blessings are yours i give for myself you give for yourself and god will bless you Please, don't forget to like this video. Share it as many as you can. Subscribe to Heaven Now TV on YouTube. And I tell you, you will not stop getting blessed. God bless you. I love you. Peace in Jesus' name. Amen.